I'm not supposed to be doing any of this. But the boat yard is closed for the day. This is time that I wouldn't be able to work there anyway. It looks like there was some damage to this table at some point and then somebody sanded it and I really don't know what to think. There's a thin layer of black on top and then this white or gray layer and then black below. And it's also black underneath. So I'm thinking it's black gel coat. And then there was primer and black paint over the top of it. And there's a couple of possible ways to go with it. One would be to just sand it down. Sand through both of these layers to this black. And see what it looks like. Was there some reason that it was painted? Some other... Am I going to find like Bondo or some other repair somewhere in here? I don't know. I suppose that could be could be a place to start and then there's this this is on top and pretty I don't know recent or ongoing So I should check the ceiling above the table. See where this is coming from. Prevent more serious problems later. And then this. What the hell is this? It's goopy and it comes off. It doesn't have a pattern like it dripped from above. I don't know. Maybe somebody spilled some coke here or something. And didn't get it all wiped up or what. I kind of like this table. It's got this picture from space of the Florida Keys. So that's cool. So, now begins my unauthorized repair. This table is pretty neat. It has a recess in the center where the artwork goes. It originally had a mat. And I like the satellite photograph better. And then it has that piece of plexiglass that is held down with a screw in each corner and covers over the artwork. Kind of clever. You can take the flex the glass up and put whatever artwork you want on the table. And then it's protected by the flex of glass and it's cooler than just a plain table. I could see that there was a lot of Bondo repair on the top of the table so sanding down to the original gel coat wasn't really an option. So I'm using this trick to get this black gel coat out of the can without making a mess is 
Amazon can send you like a pack of a dozen ladles pretty cheap and I just cut them and bend the end to the right size to fit in the can and I have a ladle like this in every can of resin or, or gel coat that I have open. And this is another cool trick. That's a 3cc syringe that I'm using as like a measuring thing. And the disposable plastic cups that I'm using are 300 cc's. So like a half a cup of resin or in this case a half a cup of gel coat and a half a syringe of hardener gives me about a hundred to one ratio of mixing. I usually mix a little more hardener than that, but it's a convenient way of measuring because I just use equal proportions in the two containers. And I'm just going to roll the gel coat on and I've got a foam roller which will dissolve in in polyester resin or in gel coat but I found in most cases I'm done using it before it really starts to fall apart if I'm doing something big sometimes I have to change rollers because little bits start to fall off of one but for small things you can get away with using a foam roller Okay, this is the area that was damaged before, and it looks real nice. This is very smooth, not glossy smooth, but pretty smooth. It's not like the rough texture, let's see, that I was getting at the edges, or what's left at the edges. I was getting this rough texture everywhere. So there was two coats of the black gel coat and then I sanded with 220 grit and then I did one more coat of the black gel coat And I mixed in with that some of this high gloss additive. And you mix this with the gel coat if you want it to lay down more like paint will. The gel coat is kind of thick, pudding like, and when you roll it on, it, it makes it pulls it up into a texture, sort of and this thins it out and lets it lay down more like paint. So the final layer after sanding had that high gloss additive in it. 